A recent reunion of radio icons <laughs> gathered at Morty's Comedy Joint, and the joint was jumping. A packed house of fans eager to see and hear the entertainers they love to listen to on the Bob and Tom radio show. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick and Sonny Love. News director and on-air cohort Christy Lee also was broadcasting this event for her podcast. One of the main players traveled to Indy from his home in South Carolina to join this gregarious group. Do it now. Mark, what was your first character on Bob and Tom? Wow. Yeah, what was it? Uh, I know, well... It may have been uh, when Jimmy Ursay was in the studio and the Colts had first gotten here. Who's your native Mark Patrick was a staple of Indianapolis radio and TV from 1989 through 2004. Besides Bob and Tom, some of his gigs included being host of the popular Hoosier Lottery Show, Mark Patrick on sports on WNDE, and of course, sports director from 1990 to 99 on Wish TV. How does Coach Larry Bird sound? That sources close to the Simon family told Sports 8 that Larry Bird has indicated he will become the next coach of the Indiana Pacers. Yep, he's still popular in his hometown. Why? I think that for, you know, the, the 90s are in right now, and the Bob and Tom show, obviously, still big today, but it was very big in the 90s, too, so that's when I was more of a major player in it, and uh, I was there for 17 years, and um, so, just like Roy Moore, you know, you got to keep it under 18. Okay. What have you been doing since, since you left Indianapolis? Um, we moved to South Carolina three years ago. And um, I play a lot of golf. I do a lot of things around the house. I, I bought a house that needed some updating, so we did that. And um, I adore my grandkids. I have three now. And the only grandkids in the world. They are the world's only grandchildren. Yes, I, that's I mean, on your Facebook page. I see that. Some They're people very think cute. That some other ones exist, Patty. But quite frankly, no. There are just my three. <laughs> and, and they know that because you've told them that. That's right. That's good. That's good. You're very handy, too. I see on Facebook you, you redid your basement and your woodworking. And so you're not just a mouth. You also have <laughs> talent at hand. I, when, uh, before I was able to get jobs in radio and TV, I had to actually work for a living. So I, I didn't know that. Yeah. So I kind of, uh, when I was in college, going through college and, and uh high school and so I kind of watched the guys that actually knew how to do things like that and tried to learn and, and I'm not afraid to try anything you know that <laughs> uh, well that's true that leads me into this the time you were on the air and people and I'll, I'll flatter you people still know who you are people still remember all the things you did what was the, what was the key to your success do you think what made you what made you stand out at wish TV in sports um, I think the first thing that happened is that um, when I started anchoring, Mike and Debbie went, okay. Because, Debbie, you make the call. Remember? Yeah, because, you know, if they hadn't played along, I would have really disappeared quickly. Mark Patrick has sports for us coming up. Nice tie, first of all. Great tie today. Mm -hmm. One of the besties. Well, thanks, Mike. This is one of my mom's old tablecloths. <laughs> Since you can't actually see your audience, I tried to make them the audience, the people running camera the audience, the people in the control room the audience. So I was kind of getting feedback as to what was happening. So I was kind of just talking to you guys. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they played along. The franchise. Uh, the, the franchise. You gave him that title. It stuck. Here's Ahern leaving the Channel 8 Christmas party. He just hates it when there's a line at the bank drive through It was just, you know, it was fun. And um, so I think because we were having fun, the people watching had fun. And I think, too, because all of us were so Indiana. I mean, we were all Hoosiers. And I think people that watched that knew that. You know, we had a lot of relatable things to them. Mm -hmm. I'd been to the world's largest Dairy Queen in Westfield. I wasn't just talking about it. I knew it was there. Mark was also known for his cutting edge wit and his outlandish impersonations on radio and also his bizarre creations on TV. Why are you calling me? Well, the vice president and I wanted to call you and congratulate you on one of the most spectacular sports shows in our history. Dirk Lenneck was very popular. Where did you come up with that? Remember when um, Jay Leno stole Dirk Lenneck? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, we, I couldn't believe it, and he didn't give you credit for it. That was your character. It was funny. We, um, 
we had guy very talented um, people who ran the switcher and so when we got a new switcher one time it had a lot of effects that they could never use but one of which they could make your head really large they could superimpose somebody else's head i remember one time they put a bald head on me and i, I look at the monitor and i'm like oh my god there's my dad <laughs> and it was really scary but they were you know they they would always kind of do this one and different ones like with the big head and then they did the big neck, the big chin and neck. And I said, make a still of that. You know, I want to look at that. So they made a still of that and gave me the tape and I was looking at it. I'm like, I think I can do something with that. So I was like, can you do that and I can talk? And they're like, well, yeah. You know, so it's like, yeah. you know, that's, that's what we did. So I kind of gave him the, the affected voice and the sunglasses and it was great. You know, just kind of a real bombastic sports casting guy and he you know Dirk essentially did all the stuff I really wanted to do <laughs> at the Hoosier Dome oh must have tripped over Mark Patrick's ego ah. favorite memories no the greatest thing without a doubt was when you were anchoring you throw it to the sports I start doing the sports thing and then you were going to get replaced by Debbie yeah oh that's the, right we for the six o'clock which meant you had to leave the set. So you always went that way. <laughs> Exit, stage left. Instead, you, I don't know what happened, but you know. just lost your head. And so you walk, you, I feel you, I'm talking, doing the sports, and it looks like the Pacers are gonna be in action tonight, and all of a sudden I'm feeling you behind me, and I'm like, in my head, I'm still saying, of, you know, Pacers and the Bucks tonight. <laughs> Here. What do you think about Atlanta? I, they're nice. I like their. I give them three. And I'm like, oh, she's got to be on. And I look at the monitor, and you're just. And then all of a sudden, when I looked at the monitor, you realized what you'd done, and you just you froze like some goofball behind us in a live shot. Dear him. <laughs> it was. It was. It was priceless. Patty, Patty, can I help you? <laughs> up, 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 up. Do you miss it? No. No. <laughs> Not in the least. No. No. I mean, I really don't miss the hours, I think. Oh. And, and, you know, television, as you know, is so much sitting around. You know, you spend a lot of time prepping. And, and then, you know, you would have things where there's a lot of, there's a lot of other people that have your life in your hands. You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. I oh, mean, man. you can, you can be totally prepared, maybe have a great script and newest person in the building is running the teleprompter and they fall asleep and you're going, eh. Well, it's a pleasure to see you. Um, I miss you on TV. I know a lot of people do. That must make you feel good, right? Yeah, I mean, it's really nice when people say things and, and uh, you know, you get, get surprised once in a while. I mean, I was at a Marshalls in uh, Greenville, South Carolina a couple weeks ago and this girl's like, you I, used to be on I, TV. I, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, see, if you dye your hair, you could look just you look just the same. It's just the hair. No. My hair, they make hair dye, you know. I'm never gonna dye. I'm just glad I got it. I don't care what color it is. You know, I'm not gonna be one of those guys. I, 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 well, thank you very much. Thank you. Love you, Patty. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, now he has lipstick on him. Thank you very much.